guys, how's it going? It's a Saturday, January 19th, and every Saturday I'm gonna to try to do a vlog about somewhere different. My goal on Saturday is to get out. Get outside, get in the mountains, get on a bike path anywhere but at the gym. So today I'm in San Diego and I'm doing a, a bike ride, which I'll do a video about later. It's a 20 mile loop around the bay here in San Diego. And right now I'm on the ferry, taking the ferry to downtown San Diego where I will ride back to Coronado. I'm gonna give you a little view of what I get to look at while I'm waiting for the ferry to get there. Today, uh, today's an interesting day for me. I have to, gotta get this bike ride in, I gotta get my cardio in for the day, and then tonight, I have a comedy show that I have to do, where um, normally, if I wasn't on a diet or doing this fitness plan, I'd have a couple drinks to relax before I get on stage, but I don't have that option tonight. So, I have to go up sober, and I, I get nervous getting in front of a crowd like that, so it's gonna be something interesting. Hopefully all this cardio and exercise I've been doing will pay off, and I'll be a little more relaxed on stage. <laughs> I doubt it, I'll probably still be nervous. So, today's vlog is just gonna be about my ride, and I'll probably show you guys a little bit of the comedy show tonight, and I'll talk about oh, all my feelings leading up to it. So, uh, today's Saturday, let's uh, see how it goes. I think I'm just gonna vent a little on this video and maybe open up a little bit more. Like I said, you guys probably may not know, but uh, I do some stand-up comedy. It was uh, a dream of mine when I was younger to do stand-up comedy. And I finally did it for the first time about a year and a half ago. And uh, last year, towards the end of the year, I started doing it a lot here in San Diego at the clubs. I did a lot of open mics. I got invited to do a couple shows. It was a great experience. I did it because one, I wanted to do it, and two, because it scared the shit out of me. Getting up in a room in front of a bunch of strangers trying to make them laugh is scary. So it was something to overcome and a challenge to, to face. So tonight, I got a stand-up comedy show. And one of the difficult things about it is when I do stand-up comedy, I like to have a drink, you know? I like to have a couple beers to ease the nerves. And I really enjoy alcohol, I do. But um, I'm on this diet, so I can't drink, and I'm not gonna drink tonight. So I'm gonna do everything I can to keep my head cool and calm and uh, get through this show without drinking. Another thing I figured I'd open up a little bit more about, because one of the YouTubers I followed kind of inspired me this morning. Her name's Jules. Thanks, Jules, for sharing your video today. She said it was this YouTube community of all these people, all us people, trying to overcome goals and achieve our fitness goals is really great and supportive. And it's awesome to see people open up about things they wouldn't normally open up about. So today, I think as I'm doing this ride, I've thought about alcohol, man. I love booze. In the last year of my life, I think I've abused alcohol. I've got I got to a point where alcohol was hurting my body. It was, oh, it wasn't hurting my relationships, but it was definitely hurting my body and I was going down a path. I didn't, I didn't want to keep going down. I love alcohol, but I need to learn to moderate it. And this year, one of my goals is to learn moderation. Moderation with alcohol, moderation with the foods that I love like pizza. So tonight, at my, stay, at my comedy show, it's gonna be a challenge to not drink, but I think I'll, no. I know I'll be okay, and I know I'll overcome, and I know I'll get past the nerves, and I know I don't need alcohol. With that in mind, I'm looking forward to getting on stage sober and uh, using those nerves in a good way, maybe to create energy for the audience. Okay guys, good news and bad news. Let's start with the bad news first. The bad news, I didn't get to film anything at the comedy uh, show I went to tonight. 
uh, I forgot my camera in the car and I was just kind of caught up in the moment and where I was at it was hard to set up the camera so I didn't take it out. Good news, I didn't drink, I didn't have one sip, I didn't need to drink, I felt amazing the whole time. I got a little anxious right when I walked up on stage. Uh, I did a bunch of old material so I knew it all and I got a, a lot of laughs. I did, I did good. I was very proud of the way I felt and I also remembered why I love doing stand-up because when you do well and people are laughing it's a great feeling. It's, a, it's like a high man. It's such a high. But the, the bad part of that is when you do, when you do poor and stand up and no one laughs, it's a big low and it sucks, man. Like it totally sucks when you bomb at stand up comedy. So, uh, good thing. I didn't drink. I'm very, very happy about that. I didn't even have an urge to drink. I didn't want a drink. Uh, I felt very calm, N no anxiety, no panic attacks, nothing. So I'm proud. I'm happy of that. And I just want to say one more thing because I edited the first part of this video before I did my comedy show. And looking at it, I just thought, man, I look like, or I sound like I have a real problem with booze, like I'm an alcoholic or something. I just kind of wanted to say, I'm really not an alcoholic. I'm not. I enjoy alcohol. That's, that's what it is. But, um, you know, towards the end of last year and the year before that, I just, uh, I kind of abused it too much. That, that was pretty much it. I abused it and I was conscious enough to realize that I'm going down a road I don't want to go down. I was going down a road to where I might become addicted to it and I would be unable to quit. So, uh, I don't know. If, if, if that description is an alcoholic, then maybe I am an alcoholic, but I don't believe I am. I just believe I was using it inappropriately and I need to learn moderation. So, I don't know, if you have any thoughts or comments on what I said about alcoholism or anything I've said about it, uh, feel free to comment. It's actually really hard for me to, as I was editing that video, it's just hard for me to, to watch me say that stuff. And uh, it's weird for me to say it again, too, and share it with a, a bunch of strangers. But this is part of my journey. And some of you guys on YouTube, man, I, I feel like uh, you're friends, really. I, I watch a lot of your, your journeys and struggles, so I feel like I, could, I should share some of mine. So, um, anyway, I, I, <laughs> I was trying to keep this video under five or six minutes long. I think it's going to be longer, but maybe, maybe it should be because I kind of opened up a little bit here. So, anyway, that's that. I had a good night tonight. I did a, it was an awesome Saturday. I feel amazing. So instead of celebrating with the beer, I'm celebrating with Diet Dr. Pepper. This is one of my favorite diet sodas. And I know that I said I wasn't gonna eat In-N-Out again, but I think I said in the first video, I'm not gonna eat bread. I'm not gonna eat the bun. So to celebrate, I got what's called protein style. Uh, protein style cheeseburger from In-N-Out. And that's just no bun. It's wrapped with lettuce. This, uh, for me today, this is totally fine because I had a huge caloric deficit. Uh, after my bike ride, I burned like 12, 1300 calories and uh, I could use this. My body can use the food. So I'm good to go. I'm happy. Uh, I'm great. So anyway, thanks a lot guys. I, it's just thank you for watching, subscribing, liking my videos. And I, uh, that's it. <laughs> All right guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.